Hi there, everyone. This is Brandon Na with Seattle Organic SEO. And today we are addressing the question, how to grant people access to your Google My Business account. Now, first off, what's Google My Business? Um, this might be intuitive for a lot of you out there, but just briefly, um, it is a service that Google offers for free at this point here in 2020. Um, where you can get extra exposure to your business in the knowledge graph. So this particular section here that's blank on my page here is called the knowledge graph and it is fed by Google My Business. So for example, let's say you are trying to find a local business like uh, here in the Seattle area, we have uh, Michael's Toyota. Um, so maybe I will type in that and you'll see that basically their business shows up here um, with their Google My Business account. Um, so here, let's go into how to address that question. So first off, um, let's look up Google My Business. And all you have to do is literally type in Google My Business into Google. And typically you will get uh, a set of results organically here. Um, you can get into their account or sometimes they are advertising so that they have ubiquitous exposure um, to obtaining, you know, uh, literally any particular uh, view that's coming in for this particular search. Well, let's let's click in. So if you click in here, typically you'll want to uh, actually click on the sign in button. And once you do, um, depending on whether or not your account is tied to your current uh, Google My Business, uh, rather your current Google account, um, it should actually load up what accounts you have excuse me, inside of your account. Well, I obviously own or rather manage a bunch of different businesses. And so that's why you'll see a lot of other businesses here. But once you click into a business and we'll just for privacy reasons, actually go into our specific account, you'll see this page where literally it gives you a broad exposure to the different features within Google My Business. Well, jumping into specifically how to grant someone um, access you see this, it says users on the bottom left hand side. So here in April 2020, um, it basically is your way in. So you click on to users. And then here you can see with my partner agency, I've given them access. Um, I give them manager access. But if I want to give another person access or another agency access, I just click on this little icon. And do you see those little people and uh, the plus symbol? When you click on that, it says invite new users or add one to your location groups. Well, we'll ignore this for now, but let's click on invite new users. And so from here, you just type in people's, <coughs> excuse me, email address. And you'll see that there are a bunch within your Google or, or Gmail account that will automatically populate. But you know, if you don't, you just type in their email address. And honestly, um, after doing so, uh, it will complete this. And sorry, just typing in one of my best friends account and typically it'll populate. And then after you do that, you have to choose their role. Ideally, you're probably going to choose manager or lower uh, site manager. But if you have to and you want to give them full access, you would click owner. But I would highly recommend giving manager or site manager access so that it's limited and to a considerable extent, they can't necessarily affect your uh, you know, complete account because they don't have as high of permissions. So once you do that, and you basically click on this specific um, element, you click, you click on invite, and then there you go. That's it. That's how you give someone access to your Google My Business. But with that said, please note on their side, they do need to accept it in an email. So they will get an email that says, you are now uh, invited to own or, or manage this account, and they must click yes. Because if they don't, what will happen is it'll just sit in their account and they won't get access. So do note that is the one last step that is required to get them full access. Have a good one.